All right, this is take two. What happened to these Kit Kat bars? They've already been opened. Ah, oh, it's terrible. I'm gonna use Kit Kat bars to teach you a little bit about uh, what are fractions and how does it work that when we multiply them, we get a smaller answer than what we started with. So I'm gonna use Kit Kats to demonstrate. So we're gonna start off with a Kit Kat bar and it's broken because my uh, take one of the video ended in tragedy. It was a tragic situation. But we're going to demonstrate this problem here. One half times three fourths. What this really means is, what is, it's a question, what is half of the little dot or the multiplying sign or parentheses, anything that's telling you to multiply, the word of, substitute, okay? What is half of three-fourths is really what this is asking. Before we could take half of three-fourths, first we need to get three-fourths. So these problems are always uh, kind of backwards, right? For example, if you wanted a piece of pizza, there's the word of. So that's really a multiplying problem. First, you need the pizza, right? You can't take a piece of it until you first have it. So, here we are at the Kit Kat bar, and we've got, they split nicely into four pieces, so there's our fourths, okay? Here's three of them, three fourths, good. Now, if I want to take half of that, I'm going to break it. like that. Notice the precision, the precise break there. Okay, here's one half of that. So it's quite easy to see that the answer here <clears throat> is, if I take three out of the four pieces, three out of four, and then take half of the three out of four, I get three out of eight. Makes sense? Three out of eight. Now, sometimes you don't always have Kit Kat bars on hand, so a rectangle model is a nice way to go, but you can picture the Kit Kat bar. First, it's three out of the four pieces by the way, this thing here, it's called the whole, right? The whole thing. So first of all, we have the whole thing. Now we're taking three-fourths of the whole thing. And then as the problem says, we're taking half of three-fourths of the whole thing. So it starts to get a little complicated here. I'm going to color that half, go in the opposite direction. And if you remember our little model there, the part that got colored in twice on my model was the part that got broken twice on the Kit Kat bar. Three eighths, okay? Makes sense? It's a piece of a piece. So multiplying fractions is simply a piece of a piece of the whole. So we start with big, it gets smaller, and it gets smaller. So these problems are almost like working backwards, right? You start with the whole thing, you break it into a piece, and you take the piece of the piece. That is multiplying fractions. Okay. Get rid of that, get rid of that. So because of that, when you're multiplying fractions, the answer also known as the product, is smaller than the pieces. The pieces are called the factors. Okay, factors, you multiply to get the product. In this case, when we're dealing with fractions, they are pieces. And the answer is called the product. Here's another example, okay? 
One third of five sixths. Okay. If you don't have Kit Kat bars handy, or you have a problem that doesn't use fourths, a rectangle model is a sweet way to go. Rectangle it. First we need this one. Do the second one first. It's like they're backwards. There, there's six pieces. Just going to color in five of them. It's not art class, so don't worry if it's not pretty. There's five sixths. I'm going to take one third, so I'm going to split it into three pieces this way. All right, the, the denominator is the number of pieces, by the way, when you're using a rectangle model. I'm going to color in one third of them. And there's the answer right there, the part that got shaded twice. Five of them got shaded twice out of a total of 18 pieces. Okay? Sound good? Next, you might be wondering, hey, that's, that's great, that's great, but what do I do when it's an improper fraction? Mr. Smart Guy making the video, what do I do when it's an improper fraction? Well, first, let's uh, make sure we understand what an improper fraction is. There's nothing wrong with an improper fraction. It's not an inappropriate fraction. It's just, this is the name for a fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator. For example, numerator is top, denominator is bottom. So here's an improper fraction. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, they're so improper. <sighs> but the good news is we can still use them in multiplication problems. For example, I'm going to go back to using fourths here because I can use the Kit Kat bar. <clears throat> so I'm going to reconstruct the Kit Kat bar. Is that okay? There's four fourths, right? Problem is we need seven fourths. So we need another Kit Kat bar. reconstructed there. Okay, so the only thing about improper fractions is you need more than one whole. Okay, so I have two holes here. First of all, I have one, two, three, four. There's four fourths. And there's five, six, seven fourths. Okay, so I need two holes to come up with seven fourths. You can also see that uh, seven fourths is the same as one whole plus three fourths of another one. Okay, but we'll get into that in video number two. So if I'm going to take seven fourths, there's seven of them, and then I'm going to cut them in half. Right here, that's half of 7 fourths, right there. Now the tricky part is, you might feel like counting all of the pieces here. But don't do it, don't do it, because we're comparing to the original hole here. The original hole thing, which is one Kit Kat bar. So even though I've got 7 pieces here, the answer is 7. It's 7 compared to the original whole thing, which is this, okay? So it's 7 eighths. Whew, what a mess that made. Let me scoot those out of the way. 7 eighths, all right? Using the rectangle model. Remember, we had two Kit Kat bars. We needed two Kit Kat bars to show that it's 7 fourths is actually 4 fourths and 3 fourths.
There's our 7 fourths right there. Then we take the half, cut them both in half, color them in. The part that got colored twice is the numerator. Count them. The denominator is the pieces of the original of the whole thing. Okay? Which is 7 eighths. There we go. Okay, video number one, done. Video number two, stay tuned.